Alright guys, uh, this is my upset video. So, as you guys know, I'm building this Cummins, this 4th gen. It's a 6.7 Cummins. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you guys do know, but anyway, I'm building it. Anyway, so on the bottom, in there, in the pan, you have this little girdle right there that little stamp sheet of metal well it only goes from here to I think about it just covers four cylinders basically it's like a four cylinder girdle and these uh, front two cylinders I guess you can call it or maybe the rods or the front crank whatever you want to call it it doesn't have the girdle it doesn't go that far and when I ordered the ARP main, main stud kit, it came with 14 of those girdle bolts. So 14 of these bolts. And uh, I only used 12. So it's down a cylinder. So anyway, so I was on the internet looking up the girdles, looking, and I was reading some reviews and some, uh, uh, what do you call them? I don't know what you call them. I drew a blank. But anyway, so I went on some Cummins channels and seeing what people are doing to stiffen up the bottom end. They got the Gorilla Stiffener. They got some other companies out there, Stiffeners. Um, that's what's called forums. I was on some forums. Anyway, uh, and so I, a lot of people were taking that stiffener that's in here in the 6.7. They were taking that out and installing uh, earlier model stiffener which is this one so I ordered it on eBay I'll, I'll show you real quick I'll show you the eBay ad listing this is um, super irritated with this idiot so let's go to my purchases go here <clears throat> I don't know if you can read it or not, but anyway, that's the picture of the one. I'll zoom in. So you could see it's it's all good. It's all good, right? It's clean. There's no no damages on this thing. That I can see, right? So to the naked eye there's no damages on the picture. So let's go to the description. Where's the description? Item description. Cummins diesel engine cylinder blocks stiffener girdle plate number blah 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 OEM. So it's just it's a used girdle. So direct replacement as shown in the picture says all this junk. So I get it. My wife brings the package in, and this is what I get. Is this and this is clean. This thing was nasty, nasty, nasty. Like, look, you know, it's got this just all kinds of oil on it. And I'll get to the best part. You see this little dent right there? So it's got a dent. No big deal, right? You come to this side. And, uh, yeah, it looks like somebody threw a rod. So... This is what I got. It is not supposed to be like that. So, I think that side probably would have been okay. But, yeah, this side is not supposed to look like that. As you can see. You can see all the, the runners, I guess. See, there's no dance, no, whatever. Anyway, you guys get the idea. So, what irritated me is... This guy sent it soaked in oil in this. So you have this plastic bag and you had another piece of plastic in here that I I think I kept it. I don't know where it's at. But anyway, so he had this wrapped. So this is no big deal. But you could see the oil had soaked through even the paper because he had... Let me go find it. Um, but anyway, 
it was nasty. I just opened it, you know, I was cutting it, open it, and uh, got the crap all over my, like it leaked oil all over my shoes, all over my pants, work pants. And what did I do with it? So anyway, I contacted the guy and I told him, I said, look, this is damaged. The part's damaged. Here it is. So, I don't remember what side, but look, I'm already, I'm already getting all nasty. <laughs> um, I think it was this side, yeah. So you can see how nasty this is. But there was more liquid in here. Anyway, I'll throw this junk away. Um, yeah, I contact the guy, and he tells me... He tells me to wrap it up. Wrap it up so that in shipping it won't get damaged. So that, so that he can refund me my money. I'll show you what he says. Freaking, this company's, in, they're idiots. Um... Nope, not that one. Uh, let's see. Anyway, it says, Please package item up well to avoid shipping damages and return it for refund. And so I said, well, send me a return shipping label and I'll ship it back to you. And uh, if he ends up doing that, I'm going to take some of this Volkswagen diesel and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to soak this crap with that diesel nasty oil. I'm going to put it in a bunch of plastic bags and uh, I'm gonna ship it back to him you know cuz uh, anyway yeah that's so mad so anyway so he won't he won't contact he, contact me that's been about three or four days now and so I got eBay involved so now I gotta wait till the 18th so here's the 16th so I gotta wait till the 18th for eBay to finalize and say well, then we're just going to give you your money back. So, which is going to end up being that he's probably going to get his way and I'm going to have to ship it back to him, but I'm not I'm not going to ship it back to him. It's going to cost me, you know, 18 bucks to ship it back to him. So, I'll just have to give him negative feedback and uh yeah, I don't know. I might actually end up just shipping it back to him, but I don't think I will. But anyway, so yeah, kind of irritated. Kind of wanted to do this little project while I was off. I was kind of excited to get this stupid part. And then got home and found out that... I don't even know. I guess it threw a rod. Crank broke. Who knows what happened. Um, but anyway. So, uh, yeah. So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash this Audi. I need to relax. I need to take a chill pill. Um, from this company, um, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, and that guy's company's name is Diesel Trade, that's his eBay name, Diesel Trade, and he's got a couple negative feedbacks, um, he's got one, somebody ordered a charcoal filter canister for, uh, your EVAP system, and, uh, guy said it's, the feedback was I ordered it used, said it was in good condition, wasn't the same as what was in the picture, came full of dirt. And his comment was, his reply was, that's how they come, full of dirt. It's like, well, no, they're charcoal, but whatever. Anyway. So um but he had good good standings, got four thousand something feedback, and uh I think it was ninety nine point four percent positive feedback. So, I don't know. I think eBay will just give me my money back. And the other thing is, is he's got another one for sale on there. So, I just put it in as I want the same, another same item. So, I don't want a refund. I want another same item. And uh, I'm going to make him ship it to me before I'll ship that back. So, alright guys. That's it. i got to wash my hands. Um, and, uh, yeah. i got to wash my hands. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys give me a like. Comment below if you've had any uh, bad experiences with eBay or whatever and uh, what your guys' outcome was. So, 
All right, got to go. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, give me a like. Later.